everyone. This is Pam, Rose City Stitcher, coming to you today with an update for February. This is a channel about cross stitch. Welcome to any new subscribers and welcome back everyone that has watched me before. Uh, this is going to be a pretty short video because I didn't work on a whole lot of projects. I made a lot of progress on the projects, but I didn't actually stitch on very many. But I did want to show you what I did and talk about my March plans. Uh, today is Sunday, February 28th. Um, February just flew by. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, first, I'm going to show you my finishes. I have two finishes. One I expected to have, one I was totally unexpected. Um, and they're both my uh, Whipco projects for February. So the first one was uh, Cherries and Berries. This is by Little House Needleworks. And if you remember last month when I started, all I had was like the top border done. So I ended up finishing the whole thing. It ended up being a pretty quick stitch. I did change a lot of the colors because there were colors I didn't have. So I just used stuff that was in my stash. So I like it. I think it turned out pretty cute. And this is on a 14 count. I don't know what it is. It's kind of like a peachy color. I apologize for the lighting. The lighting's awful. We're in, I'm in Texas and it's very dreary today. We're supposed to have storms later, so apologize for that. The other finish is Texas Happy Hour, y'all, which I did not expect to finish at all. Again, if you remember, all I had, again, was just a very little bit of the border, but I ended up finishing it. I'm not sure about the white. The white kind of blended in with the fabric, so you can see on the flag and on the, the wine glass, it kind of blends in. So I may go back and just do a back stitch on that so that that shows up a little bit better, because especially on the wine glass, you can barely see the, barely see that, so. And I love the, the margarita glass. That's all one color, a heavily variegated. It's called Meadow by Weeks Dye Works, and I love that. It turned out so good. So like I said, I did not expect to finish this, but I started working the, on this at the beginning of our snowstorm down here, and there wasn't much else to do around here except sit and stitch. So that's pretty much all I did. I was one of the blessed ones. I did not have my power go out because I live very close to the hospital. So didn't lose power and had water most of the time, first four days, and I lost... Lost water pressure for about eight hours, and then we had to boil water for four days. But again, I consider myself very blessed that it didn't, wasn't any worse than that for me. So I just got a little stir crazy being stuck at home for the entire week. Of course, we had no school the entire week, so we're just kind of stuck at home. But we're we're getting back to normal now. So the next one I did was a new start by Mirabilia. I talked to you all about it. This is the dressmaker's daughter that I'm doing with Terry Lee Crafts. It took forever for me to get this one started because the fabric I was going to use, I ended up, it's a 32 count, um, and I just could not see it for whatever reason. It was a darker fabric, and I just had a really hard time seeing it, and plus it was going to, I was afraid it wasn't going to fit. It was going to be a very tight squeeze. So I decided to get uh, a different fabric, and of course, again, the snow hit, no mail for four days, so it took forever for it to finally arrive, So, but it finally did, and I got my start, and it's on Oaken, 28 count Oaken, that's what I'm doing it on. Like I said, I like my other fabric a lot better because it was darker, so it was going to pop more, but like I said, I just really was having a hard time seeing it. So there's my start. I think it'll be fine. It's, it's purple. Once the dress gets on there, I think every, it'll be fine. So that was my start on that. And what we plan to do is work on the first dress for winter, because that's winter. And then when spring hits, we'll scoot over and, and start on the, the spring one and see how far we get. I said her goal was to finish it this, this year. So that initially was my goal too, but since I got such a late start on that winter one, I probably won't be finished this year. And then my uh, two whips that I worked on, my large, large whip was Wisdom. 
by Cottage Garden Samplings. And I made a lot of progress on this one. This is just on a Mushroom Lugana. And just look how far I got. Like I got the whole word wisdom done. And the key. And start out on one of the pine cones and also finish some of the snow. I love the word. I love, love how that looks. But yeah, like I ended up getting a whole lot done on that. So pleased with the, my progress on this. This one will probably be put away now because this was kind of my my winter winter project, my winter large. So I'll be picking something else now for the different season because I do stitch kind of seasonally. That's kind of how the mood strikes me. And then I stitched on for my kit. I pulled out my gourmet ABCs because this, as you know, is what I'm really wanting to get finished. I've had it for way too long. And I finished this section. And I finished this. This was done up to the green. So then I finished that and did that. So here's the, the, whole, the whole thing. So you see, I'm halfway, over halfway done. So... And I'm going to try to do some of the back stitching as I go so it won't be so bad at the end. So that's pretty much what I worked on. Like I said, Gourmet ABCs was my kit. Dressmaker's Daughter was my fancy lady. And um, okay, fancy lady wisdom was my large. And then my medium was my Texas happy hour and my small was my cherries and berries so i think this process i'm using this rotation is working really well for me doing a small a medium a large a kit and a fancy lady so i'm happy with with that and that's what i'm going to probably continue even though there'll be a bit of a change in in march which you'll you'll see in just a minute so like i said that was that's pretty much what I worked on. I told you it wouldn't take very long to show you since there weren't that many whips. So let me go ahead and talk about uh, my plans. So for my plans, there's going to be a little bit of an adjustment because I think I'm going to go ahead and participate in the March Madness. That's Steel City Stitchers, I think that's what they're called, are doing. Mine's going to be kind of a variation on it it's not going to be quite like theirs but it's going to be similar i kind of looked at what uh dina at half stitch cross stitch did i kind of like what what she said she was going to do so i think that's kind of what i'm going to do is what what she did uh so let me kind of show you the projects that i'm going to do i'm going to have the four starts and four whips so let me show you the starts first uh, the one start is, and this is actually um, haul too, uh, the Sense and Sensibility Sal by um, Sapphire Mountain Handcrafts. So I'm going to do, there's some boy that is so, so blurry. So I'm going to start that. I didn't have a chance to get started on it. I'm hoping to stitch it on this, this right here. You can kind of see it's a, kind of a light blue which is what they did, but I just hope that the white's gonna show up on it, so we'll see. So that's going to be one of the four new starts. The other new start is the More Chocolate Bunnies. I had already planned on stitching this. I already got my fabric. I was gonna get the, the sulky threads, but I don't know, we'll see. I probably won't. I'll probably just use the DMC on that. And the next one, next new start will be Here a Peep by Brenda Gervais with thy needle. So I'll start that one. And let's see, is that four? One, two, three. What was the other one? Oh, I know what the other one is. The other one is going to be my Main Street series. I didn't actually start the new one this month like I planned, so I need, really need to start the next one if I'm going to get this finished this year. So I have the two, so I will start the gazebo. 
So that will be my number four. And then for my whips, my four whips, going two of them are going to be my Whipco projects, uh, which is what Dina did also. So this was what was picked, was my Halloween typography. So I'll be working on this. And there's my progress. Stuff's not cooperating. There we go. And then my other Wipco project is a uh, fire goddess. So I'll go work on her. So she's on 16 count Mo's sale. And there she is. Got a lot done. I have her dress almost finished. Those two, and then I picked um, Secret Garden, which was the sale from last year from the Sapphire Mountain Crafts that I ended up not doing like I should have, and I really want to get this one done, so I thought this would be a good good place to put it. So you can see that's as far as I got. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. Thought that'd be a good one. And let's see, and then the last one, let's see, fire goddess, oh, little, oh, I forgot to pull that one out, oh, no, I did, there it is, I thought I forgot to pull this out, and then the other one will be little women, what I did is I picked um, some that were kind of small for, for the, for the two whips, so I was, I'm on, just starting the next, next one. I think that's that, is that the tag. Um, yep. So, so work on her. So those are my March Madness. And what I'm going to do is similar to half price, half, not half price, half stitch, cross stitch. Um, I'll stitch 200 stitches on all of these and then I think what I'll probably do what she was going to do is whichever one she was the farthest along with that's what she was going to continue with so I'll probably try doing that and see see how that works which I know fire goddess and more chocolate bunnies of course I'm going to get farther with more chocolate bunnies so it's going to kind of force um not the whip goes projects to go but some of the others but that'll be okay I'll just go ahead and um, do those, you know, later on. I'll, I'll fill those in to get my time in on those. So that's kind of my plan. I'm real excited about it. So, and of course, the goal is to have an FFO at the end, which would be great if I finished uh, more chocolate bunnies or hear a peep because those are two spring ones that I could maybe FFO. So, those are my plans. And hang on a second, I had dropped something. Okay, and then I have another, one more new start that this, uh, March is my birthday. So on my birthday, I'm going to do a new start for my birthday. I've been holding on to this one for my birthday ever since I bought it. I knew that was what I was going to start on my birthday. Uh, so it's uh, Aurora by R-E-T-M. And I'm going to stitch it on this opalescent Be Stitch Me fabric. It's kind of a green. I told you all my colors are washing out today. So that's that's my plan. 28 count. So can't wait till my birthday to start this. Hopefully I'll be able to see it. I seem to be having a little bit of trouble seeing this the opalescent fabric. But that's, that is my plan. So let me show you just a teensy bit of haul that I've 
They didn't get very, very much. Mar February, I had decided it was going to kind of be my month of not buying things. This period, just trying to not buy buy things, trying to save up some money. So I would have money for, for March, to maybe buy for my birthday. So I had a few things, though. Um, I said I got the uh, Tense and Sensibility, Sal. And then yesterday I went to Half Price Books. And I got this book called Teddy Bear Treasury. It's an older book, Leisure Arts. But I I thought it had some cute little patterns in it, little bears in it that I thought were kind of cute. So we'll see. So I bought that. And then I did get my, my floss fix, February floss fix from Fat Quarter Shop. And these are all the classic color works flosses that are some really pretty pinks so you can see all the all the pretty pinks actually this one is really pretty that's called house wine that's pretty so got all the pinks so looking forward to using those And then the last thing I got yesterday, I was at Joann's, and they had uh, all the Otlite stuff, 50% off. So I went ahead and bought this. Like I told you, I was really starting to have a lot of trouble seeing. So I thought maybe if I bought this, use this, it just kind of goes around your neck, that maybe that would maybe help. So I'm going to try that, see if maybe that helps me out a little bit with seeing better. So let me know if anybody's used this, see if they if they like it, see if it's... I said for half price, I thought it was worth giving it a try. So. Anyway, that's... Oh, there's one other thing I wanted to show you. Um, not stitchy related at all, but I like it. So I wanted to show it off to you. I went to um, TJ Maxx. I was just shopping, shopping yesterday. Went everywhere. And I got this. It's a Ray Dunn pillow. It's a big pillow. Look at that. So I love it. It's nice and soft. And so cat mom. So my me and my cream puff. So I I like that. So that's sitting on my couch. So anyway, like I said, not stitchy related, but I like it. So I wanted to show that off. Alright, so like I said, it's gonna be a short video. There's just I didn't have a whole lot of stitching to show you since I Stayed with one project till I finished it, in two of the cases. So uh, as far as today, uh, I'm probably going to continue stitching on the Gourmet ABCs. That was what was in my Q-Snap. Or I may just pull something out, just random, just something that I'm feeling like stitching on since this is the last day of February before the Stitchy Madness starts. So I'm hoping to get a lot of stitching done in March. March, of course, is spring break. We have school this week, and then the next week we're out for spring break. So that's why I thought maybe this this March Madness would be something I could do because this week will be kind of crazy. It'd be nice to come home and have something fun to look forward to doing. And, of course, during spring break, I'll have plenty of time to do things. So hopefully I'll be able to get get some progress done on that. So if you have any questions on anything, leave them below. Uh, thank you again for watching. I really appreciate you watching my channel. And I will see you the end of March. Bye.